I am discussing on the topic sale versus agreement to sell. The topics which I am going to discuss are meaning of sale, meaning of agreement to sell, difference between sale and agreement to sell and the last one is the conclusion. Now let us understand the meaning of sale. A sale is a type of contract in which the seller transfer the ownership of goods to the buyer for a money consideration. Here the relationship amidst the seller and the buyer is of creditor and debtor. It is the result of an agreement to sell when the conditions are fulfilled and the specific time is over. There must be at least two parties, one is the buyer and other is the seller. Subject matter of sales is goods. Payment should be made in the country's legal currency. Goods should be passed from seller to buyer. If the goods are being sold and the property is transferred to the buyer but a seller is not paid, then the seller can go to the court and file a suit against the buyer for the damages and the price too. On the other hand, if the goods are not delivered to the buyer, then he can also sue the seller for damages. Example, when we purchase a chocolate from a shop, customer is a buyer and shopkeeper is the seller. Now, let us understand the meaning of agreement to sell. An agreement to sell is also a contract of sale of goods in which the seller agrees to transfer goods to the buyer for a price at a later date or other the of fulfillment of a condition. When there is a willingness of the both the parties to constitute a sale that the buyer agrees to buy and the seller is ready to sell the goods for monetary value. In an agreement to the sell, the performance of the contract is done at the future date, that is, when the time elapses or when the necessary conditions are satisfied. After the contract is executed, it becomes a valid sale. All the necessary conditions required at the time of sale should exist in the case of an agreement to sell. Now let us discuss the major differences between the sale and agreement to sell. First one is the meaning. In sale, in, in a contract of sale, the exchange of goods for money consideration takes place immediately. It is known as sale. When in a contract of sale, the parties to contract agree to exchange the goods for a price at a future specified date is known as agreement to sell. Second one is nature. In sale, it is absolute nature. In agreement to sell, it is conditional. Third one is the type of contract. In sale, it is executed contract. In agreement to sale, it is executory contract. Fourth one is the transfer of risk. In sale, there is risk. In agreement to sell, there is no risk. Fifth one is the title. In sale, the title of good transfers to the buyer with the transfer of goods. In agreement to sale, the title of goods remains with the seller as there is no transfer of goods. Sixth one is the consequence of subsequent loss or damages to the goods. Responsibility of buyer, responsibility of seller. Seventh one is the tax. VAT is charged at the time of sale. No tax is levied. Eighth one is the suit for breach of contract by the seller. The buyer can claim damages from the seller and proprietary remedy from the party to whom the goods are sold. Here the buyer has the right to claim damages only. And the last one is the right to unpaid seller. Right to sue for the price. Right to sue for damages. And the last one is the conclusion. Under Indian Sale of Goods Act 1930 Section 403 deals with the contract of sale and agreement to sell where it has been clarified that the agreement to sell also come under sale. However, there is distinction between these two terms which we discussed above. Thank you.